Why do you think he lost? Um, I think they had a better ground game, and I think we were not aware. You know, we, we certainly had the passion coming from our side, and I don't think we were, we were as aware of the passion that was coming from the other side. I think we, we were a little blindsided by that. Do you think that the two of you at all contributed to this image, which the other side certainly played up, that you were so wealthy that you were somehow out of touch with the concerns of the average American? And, you know, that's a, that's a reality that, you know, you can't change. I mean, we are who we are. Um, the thing that was frustrating to me is that people didn't really get to know Mitt for who he was. Well, I want to pick up on that because there were reports that you and your oldest son, Tag, were frustrated with the Romney campaign, that they didn't, quote, let Mitt be Mitt, that they didn't let him show his more open, compassionate side. True? Well, I, of, of course. I, it was partly it's true, but it was not just the campaign's fault. I believe it was the media's fault as well is that he was not giving, being given a fair shake. People weren't allowed to really see him for who he was. All right, what about the media? <laughs> I'm happy to blame the media. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the media was in the tank for Barack Obama? <laughs> I think that it's any time you're running for office, you always think that you're being portrayed unfairly. And, you know, we, of course, on our side, believe that there's more bias um, in favor of the other side. I think that, you know, that's a pretty universal, universally felt um, opinion. What do you